And so we, we had to go back and look at that and, and figure out what that meant for us as individuals. And of course, like how that's going to impact the relationship moving forward. <laughs> On the day of the engagement, Shanique, did you have any idea that Randall was going to propose? Because I kind of got the feeling that you were a bit unsure. Like you didn't really, like I didn't really know if you knew where this was going to go. A full of surprises. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, I was um, very, very anxious um, mm-hmm. because from my view, I mean, all I, I felt and saw was that he was connecting with someone else. Um, and obviously, you know, it's, there was a possibility that his mind wouldn't change at the end of it. So I was genuinely happy and surprised that that he did propose. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't even know. It was just a whirlwind of emotions, honestly, this entire experience, really. <laughs> right. Randall, was there ever a doubt in your mind? Did you ever think that maybe at the end of this, you could have been with Madeline instead of Janique? Or was the end goal to always work on your relationship, get engaged and and see your relationship all the way through. Obviously living with somebody for three weeks, you start to gain some sort of feeling with, whether it's with a friendship, romantically, or uh, anything of that nature. So I'm um, going through this experiment. Shanique was always in the back of my mind, just thinking about, okay, the end goal is to really see, okay, is Shanique the right one for me? Am I the right one for Shanique? Um, so throughout these three weeks of me living with Madeline, I was solely working on myself for Shanique, and I think that helped me kind of um, grow as a person and kind of helped us come together and, and uh, do great things. So I think that was, that, that that's the mindset that I came in thinking about. Were these hurdles that you had to kind of overcome after the show? Was it something that you had to talk through mm-hmm. or did you decide, you know, we're gonna leave that alone and kind of just focus on each other? Oh, Christina, yeah, um, mm-hmm. definitely. I mean, you know, toward the end of the experience, I mean, you know, things kind of played out the way they did, right? And then we got home and we were like, okay, like this is real life. Like this is real life. How do we actually address some of these uh, things that came up during the experience? I mean, to Randall's point, you know, he thought everything was great. Um, and obviously like, you know, there were a couple of things that we, we needed to work on and that was definitely highlighted, I think, in the experience. Um, and so we, we had to go back and look at that and, and figure out what that meant for us as individuals. and of course, like how that's gonna impact the relationship moving forward. So yeah, to answer your question, definitely had some uh, revisiting to do. (laughs) Yeah, what uh, your reaction to Jake and uh, Ray kind of giving it a shot? Shanique, do you feel bad for Zay? Oh man, oh gosh, Um, yes and no. (laughs) I'm being totally honest, yes and no. So Ray is somebody that I, I, I did grow a friendship with throughout the entire thing and I think we were all kind of like in a really weird situation where we're dating each other's partners so it's like I like you but also like you're dating my man like you know so yeah it it was weird but I think what I did feel Zayon was you know we were kind of in the same boat where what we saw was our partner Mm -hmm. essentially falling for someone else like that's what we saw so we definitely talked about that a lot and we connected on that a lot um and I think there was a lot of kind of like hurt you know, in that in that part of the experience. So I, I did kind of feel bad for him in that way because I, I felt the same way too, you know? Um, essentially, I could lose my partner. Mm-hmm. Um, but at the same time, I think what happened, in my honest opinion, was supposed to happen. I, I don't know that they were the best match for each other. So I'm happy that um, Ray and Jake did have some sort of connection. Yeah, and Randall, are you happy that Madeline and Colby decided to not only get engaged, get married, now they're having a baby. I mean, what do you think about all this? Truthfully, I'm excited and ecstatic for the both of them. I know that Colby's end goal was to get married. Um, and I know Madeline kind of had her concerns in the beginning, but just living with her for those first three weeks, she expressed what she needed to work on as a person and how they could come together and kind of make things work for the better. Not just to force things, but to actually make it come work um, naturally and I think it it happened so I'm, I'm definitely happy for him.